to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a very requested DIY fire pit along with the DIY palette pot garden that I created to sort of decorate the fire pit a little bit more. So a lot of you guys have already seen this on my Instagram stories and you can actually go to Instagram and some of you guys get those highlight reels at the top of your Instagram feed. Well, some of you guys don't have those little highlight um, stories on your feed and I don't know why. We don't know if that's a settings issue or an update issue, but I would look into your um, updates and your settings and see why you don't have those highlights. But if you do have those, I have um, DIY fire pit in my highlights and you guys can click on that. It will just kind of go through certain days where we worked on the fire pit and give you guys kind of a little behind the scenes, if you will. So today, that's what we're doing. But the first thing I want to tell you guys, we spent about $350 to $360 total on the whole entire fire pit. We saved thousands of dollars by not hiring a contractor, not hiring a landscaper, not paying for labor, any of that stuff, or paying for the rocks. As you will see when we go down there, we salvaged a ton of rock, and I talk about this in the highlight stories on Instagram, but we saved a ton of rock. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys downstairs and outside, and we're going to go over the whole fire pit, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to take you guys outside, and let's go see. The yellow pots and the plants I got at Home Depot. The tree stumps are from an old tree they used to be here I've talked about this on Insta stories a lot it was like 50 feet high we were able to salvage some tree stumps and then he cut some of the other tree stumps down into wood discs and and I made a walkway with those this rug I've had and I brought it out here because it was ready to be thrown out as you can see here Right here is the gas line. My husband used some kind of a black spray sealant material um, to seal everything. He dug a giant trench underground that leads to the fire pit and he sealed that all off. The piping covered it all off properly, buried it, etc. And so what you do is you turn this on, which I will show you guys tonight. So you turn this on and then take a lighter or a match and you light the fire pit and poof. We get fire. You walk down here. So we're going to stick with the pea pebble rock for now, and it works just fine. The yellow chairs I've had, so this one and this one, are both from Kmart Online a couple years ago. And then the two wood ones, which I'm going to have to sand and refinish because I sealed it with this protectant sealant, but yeah, that didn't work very well. So I'll probably sand those down restain and reseal. But anyways, these are from Down East Home here in Southern Utah. And then the cute bicycle pillows are from Home Depot as well. When I was designing, I told Kev I wanted four posts on all, you know, the corners. If you know anything ugly, you see this is an old house and there's lots to be done. So we put a post on all corners except for here because we already had this post to the patio. We added nails to the tops, draped the bistro lights across, wrapped them around draped, wrapped around, draped, etc. So, well, Kev dug a pretty big hole in the ground over a foot deep and filled it with um, cement, stuck the pole down there, filled, moved the cement around the post, and then buried it with some dirt. We let it um, set overnight, and then we did the lights. The wood trim going around is from Home Depot, and this is all rock that we salvaged. Kev took that DIY sifter there, and from here all the way over, sifted all the rocks out and would dump the sifter full of rocks into the wheelbarrow, bring it over, dump it in the fire pit, and then I would rake it all out. So before we did dump the rocks and I had laid out the wood discs and everything with what we had. I did this and we um, raked out the rocks and everything. This, all the brick you see was actually at one time a trimmed out border back out here when they had a nice yard I'm sure at some point Kev took it all broke it up into chunks and then we just went and got some cement mixed it layered it cemented it and made a fire pit so this was all salvaged besides the pea pebble the rocks were all salvaged the wood discs were salvaged and then we purchased the posts 
the bistro lights, and the wood for the trim. And here is the pallet pot garden. I wanted it to be pretty over here so that people facing this direction have something pretty to look at. The pallets were free. You could just drive around to businesses and literally find them next to a garbage bin. So I have one small one and one big one. What, we, what I wanted was my husband to nail gun the small one in front of the large one, which is exactly what he did. So we made sure they were flush on the bottom. And he nail gun the small one to the large one. And you have to make sure when you're doing this that you have some kind of a ledge facing outwards to sit your pots on. And then of course you have the top. So you have you know, three levels to decorate with pots. On the ground, we leveled out the ground. We salvaged all these rocks. The larger rocks we salvaged on the side of the house. This is the sixth bedroom to the house that they built but they didn't finish. And so there's all these big rocks over here and then on the side. <clears throat> and we salvaged those as well and brought them over here. What we did is we leveled the ground. Then we put a long wood board down here. We put the barstools on top of the wood board. Then put the rocks over it. Then we did another board on top of the barstools. And then we did the pallet. And then I decorated with some salvaged wood pieces, thrifted pots, that little bicycle I got from um, Joann's years ago and then I nailed it to a painted little fence from Joann's and I hung, we hung that up. The birdhouse was also thrifted and then I have a Ray Dunn pot. This is where you turn it on and I will bring you guys again out here this evening and share the fire pit lit up with the lights on. I still need to get some plants to hang in this olive bucket. Okay, so I'll bring you guys out here this evening. The amount of memories that we've already made here sitting around the fire laughing, giggling, and even telling ghost stories has been amazing and there will be many more memories to make. Well the fire pit was a labor of love and it took us a total of three weeks to complete. I can't wait to get more work done in the backyard and do it with the love of my life. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you again in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.